there we have it eventually that took a lot um, unfortunately I'm using a, a saw that's designed for uh, wet wood and this is dry so uh, my dry saw at the moment is broken and I haven't got the buck saw with me so I'm stuck with that that said it gets through it but this is a lovely piece of ash, which is just ready for the burn. Um, you can see the, the rings. There's probably about 30 to 40 rings on there, but unfortunately, you can also see the problems that this poor ash tree is going through at the moment. These little burrowing bugs. Um, and it's in danger of actually uh, doing huge damage to these ash but they are quite quick growing so you can tell them quite easily because they have a, a vertical lines on them they're usually grey coloured always smooth trunked very distinctive and the leaves are also very distinctive um, they bung out about 10 leaves on one little branch with a nice little sort of furnish shape to them really um, I'll go through that another time but yeah beautiful piece of wood for burning um, especially for tinder um, it's not the longest lasting burn but you can see it is very dense that's very smooth there um, so it's dense, but it's got a great grain structure that you can split it down Which is one of my favorites for that So you can make your kindling nice and easily Not too many knots with nice rough grain to follow So that's the next step I guess get the axe and chop it up a little in preparation for this evening Nice straight grain cuts. Again, there you see, there is a couple of knots in it, but not too bad. That should go into nice thin slices if I require. get these thin bits um, which very much like match wood you can just peel off match size pieces very easily with it and of course they they burn very quickly perfect for starting especially if you get it out of the middle here not too close to the edge and then it's definitely bone dry at the moment everything is saturated around here this is a marsh stroke bog um, very much in a hollow in a dip and yeah it tends to hold the cold I've noticed but anyway we're going off subject I can't see any of those little bloody bugs but if I find any I'll show you
start. We've got some more birch and ash to chop away at later to keep myself warm. But yeah, I am nicely warmed up. And it's time to move on. Right, so here we have it. This will do for the night. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's all sealed up. I've made a door. Um, which it didn't have before. It was just an open gap, really. So that's going to be a bonus. Um, I'm adding an extra bit of chimney on the outtake try and get a little bit more height and therefore suction because we've got a nice wind so I'm expecting the chimneys and, and takes out takes to work quite efficiently but yeah I mean you just go around you get the idea it's all strapped down and tied down and pegged down because the wind is going to get up um, so hopefully I'll be prepared for that. But if we go inside, first we lift that flap up. We've got a little door lock there. And that is my new door. It's actually being held up on a, a piece of the rib cage, so I can easily pull that off there, open it right up, and we have my den. Um, I haven't put all my sleeping mats out yet, I've got two more mats to lay down. A pink picnic style blanket and a little inflatable airbed. Only a small one, but yeah. So I'll probably do all that later. Um, but everything's good now. I I could maybe start the fire up, get things warmed up because it is damp. Um, it's going to take a little drying out this German half tent bit, especially. So yeah, happy with that. See you soon. So here we are. Just added a bit of bracken to it. Pulled the wall up a little bit more. It blends in to a point. this side and this is a swamp over here so nobody ever would even attempt to come through there it is mud up to your knees quite happy with that got a bit more wood going there actually keep me going for half the night at least um, can always have another warm-up routine later it chopping, sawing. I've still got a big chunk of that ash um, and lots of birch. No end of birch actually. And if you look over there, you can see there is so much dead standing wood and wood that is just laying on top of wood. It's actually kind of hard to walk through here without stepping on wood. And I've been here for ages and I've hardly made a dent in it. So there's unlimited firewood here in the form mostly of birch, but also there is a, a few bits of alder and goat willow, but that's majority birch there. Okay, so I'm going to crack on. I might try and edit and post this tonight. I don't know. 